Thank you, Mr. President. Members, we spent the last few months debating about how much sales tax we need to raise rather than if we need to raise taxes. And while the agency heads and the lobbyists have been very active and have dominated the tax debate, what has been left out of the conversation is the everyday taxpayer. From the Louisiana taxpayer's perspective, they're going to pay an extra $350 million in state income taxes as a result of the federal income tax changes. And while this federal reform has benefited the state's budget, it has been at the expense of our constituents. On top of that, we're piling another $500 million in increased taxes as a result of legislation from the second and third special sessions. So spoiler alert to the taxpayers, we're raising your taxes another $850 million in this year. In return, we're giving our citizens the largest budget in the state's history, a whopping $34 billion budget. With $250 million in total state expenditures in this budget year than in the current year. State general fund spending will explode by a billion dollars in 2019 compared to the 2016 budget. The growth of our spending is becoming unsustainable. I supported the temporary one cent sales tax after we got elected in 2016 because at that time it appeared that we had very few choices. I was willing to give the new administration and our new legislature an opportunity to reform our budget and our tax structure. We committed to change. And here we are two years later faced with the same short term fixes, you know, more taxes. Together we've made some progress on budget and tax reform, but it hasn't been enough. You've supported my efforts to eliminate statutory dedications and pilot evidence-based budgeting. And I've supported many of your efforts to reform TOPS, to add expenditure caps and standstill budgets, to protect our rainy day fund, to address the ITEP and ITC programs, to scrutinize our tax incentives, and to bring more transparency to our spending. But the fact is that I think that our administration's done very little in the area of budget reform. The governor's decision to expand Medicaid without any consideration for the cost of doing so has grown the cost of health care in Louisiana at the expense of important priorities such as TOPS, higher ed, and caring for the disabled, the children, and the elderly. Today, the Department of Health's budget is 41% of our budget. And it has grown from $12 billion to $14 billion in the last two years. Medicaid is the single biggest expenditure in state government. And if we don't rein in the cost of health care, Louisiana will be in a constant fiscal crisis. The opportunities to reduce Medicaid fraud and to enforce Medicaid eligibility requirements have been well documented by the Medicaid Fraud Task Force and should be aggressively pursued by the administration. There are hundreds of millions of dollars in question, and it's the responsibility of the administration to eliminate the problems in the implementation of the Medicaid expansion program. As we near the conclusion of our 10th session, I do not believe that the governor has honored his commitment to do any budget reform. And as long as we continue to solve long-term expenditure problems with short-term solutions like tax increases, we will never solve our state's fiscal challenges. I'm committed to working with all of you to move us in that direction, but for that reason, I will not be able to support the proposed tax increase.